at the time when I was going through that, I still struggled with feeling dominant inferior or feeling like I was just too stupid to get it. Hmm. But 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 that's not true. And the way I got around it was by realizing that sometimes the way some people explain it just doesn't work for you. I, I don't I don't I don't sign up for the whole like oh I'm a visual learner or I'm an experimental learner or I I I, 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 I people learn that's it and it's just if if you want to learn you make an effort and you're going to learn but for me the effort to learn was sometimes i would have to get four five six books on a particular subject matter and they would all explain the same thing but different ways but i needed all of those different ways to connect all the dots in my head and then after reading like the fifth different explanation of the same thing it's like Oh, I get it now. Like a light bulb moment. It's like, yeah, something just clicked. I got it. And and, and sometimes people, especially at school, those students, they, they go in and, and and they try to learn something and they just have like one resource and they don't get it and they just keep reading the same thing. Oh, because that's what I used to do too. I would read a chapter like, like 10, 15, 20 times thinking if I read it 30 times, I'll get it. If you don't get it after two, three times, you're probably not going to get it. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean to give up. Look for a different resource. Look for someone else that explains the same thing in a different way. And, and that made a huge difference for me. I have books here. I have some books that have four or five copies of the same topic mm-hmm. by different authors. Mm-hmm. Because all of them, for me, explain things in such a way that I understand a little bit from him here, a little bit from him there, a little bit there. But the whole makes sense to me.